Hey everyone, this is Joanne coming to you live from New York. I'm also known as hashtag Unicorn Boss. So as you guys are jumping online tonight, go ahead and hit me up with some unicorn emojis because those are my jam. If you're grabbing me live, go ahead and leave me a number one. And if you're catching me on the replay, go ahead and leave me a number two. So super excited tonight, you guys. We're gonna be doing a nice little keto kitchen together and I'm gonna show you how to meal prep for a nice, quick and easy recipe in the slow cooker. So tonight we're gonna be doing part one. We're gonna get everything ready and it's gonna cook for six hours tomorrow and then tomorrow when I come home from work I'll show you how to finish up and create the sauce and it will be a nice easy meal ready to go for you all so I see a bunch of you guys jumping online welcome if you're grabbing me live go ahead and leave me a number one and if you're catching me on the replay go ahead and leave me a number two by the way if you're a brand new friend don't forget to go ahead and comment new below so that we can circle back around and connect with you and if we're not friends yet go ahead and send me a friend request and hit follow to follow me you can just click on my face it will take you over to my page and then from there you can click on the follow button I would appreciate you taking a quick moment to follow me because I'm trying to boost my followers and I would so appreciate the love and support so tonight we're gonna to be doing a quick and easy slow cooker recipe so let me grab the recipe so I don't butcher the name of the recipe like I did yesterday so this is a slow cooker chicken thigh with creamy lemon sauce so it's just four or five ingredients it's nice and easy um, if you're brand new to me welcome my name is Joanne. Um, I've been keto since October and I'm really loving what this lifestyle has done for me. I always do quick and easy on my page. So if you're looking for uh, recipes that are not intimidating, that are not a lot of hard work in the kitchen, you will definitely love all of the content here that I have on my page. So let me go ahead and say hi to a few people real quick and then we'll go ahead and get started, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Maddie, uh, Karen, who else do we have? Amy, Eric. Catherine, Sonia, <laughs> Kathy, Shauna, awesome. Welcome everybody, hi Leah. So, um, so yeah, this is gonna be a really good recipe. Once again, this is a slow cooker chicken thigh with a creamy lemon sauce. So if you think that sounds delicious, go ahead and give me some of the, uh, like the yum emojis below. I would love to see that. Hi Juanita. So let me go over the macros real quick with you guys and then we'll go ahead and get started. This is a nice easy prep. We're basically just going to prep our chicken and then tomorrow it takes like two seconds to make the creamy lemon butter sauce. So really excited to share this with you all. So for our macros, this is going to make a total of four servings. It calls for two pounds of uh, chicken thighs. And um, it's got 513 calories per serving. The uh, protein is 46 grams, so nice and high on the protein scale. And then I really love the fat on this one. Total fat is 32 grams, so nice and high on the fat scale. Remember, you guys, if you're keto, it takes fat to burn fat. So it's good to have those nice, healthy fats in your diet so that way it can help boost your weight loss journey. And then uh, last thing is carbohydrates. Total carbs is 6 grams, so totally respectable, nice and low on the carb scale for your ketogenic journey. So let's go ahead and get started. Hey Kelly, hey Leah, hi Matt. <laughs> yes JT, I did enjoy your video earlier. I uh, was glad that I caught you for a few minutes um, watching that video. It makes me definitely want to get that game. It looks like a lot of fun. Definitely love Final Fantasy games so it's definitely <laughs> just like it. So okay, so to get started we're basically going to uh, Put in our pan here some butter and some olive oil. I've got some onion and garlic. We're gonna begin sauteing, and we're basically going to, um, here's my ton of uh, chicken thighs right here. We're basically just gonna start the browning process and just cook it up just a teeny tiny bit so that way we can get it ready to go. Thank you so much for the share, Karen. I appreciate you. By the way, if you guys love my page, if you enjoy the high five and you learn lots of great things about keto here, make sure you go ahead and give this video a quick share. I so appreciate your love and support. Thanks for sharing, Kelly. I so appreciate you. And yes, that is a Yoshi hat. <laughs> Turn it around for you guys. So yeah, I'm a huge gamer nerd. So if if you guys don't know that already about me, um, and if you're a gamer by chance, go ahead and comment and share with me what you're playing right now. So, <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just going to turn on my pan here, and I've got my a tablespoon of grass-fed butter in here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add some olive oil. And as soon as this starts to get warm, I'm gonna add in my onion and my uh, garlic, and we'll get this going. So while I'm waiting for my pan to heat up, happy Sunday, you all. How was uh, your Sunday? Did anybody do anything fun and relaxing today? I would love to hear about it. 
<laughs> yes, JT, I would love to see future episodes on your page. Um, it's really fun to do the live video stream for sure. All right. So this prep tonight's gonna be really easy. It's really basic. We're basically going to um, brown our uh, garlic and our onion and um, we'll brown our chicken and then we're gonna prep it in the slow cooker. So nice and easy. Thank you so much for sharing, Leah. I really appreciate it. I especially appreciate the shares right now because I'm actually in Facebook jail. <laughs> so I can't share the video out myself. So I would really appreciate a few extra shares tonight. I love you guys all so much. I appreciate you jumping on every night and spending some time with me. Okay, so the I can tell that the butter is starting to get nice and hot here. Let me go ahead and get our onion in, and hopefully I won't cry on live camera. That's what happened to me last time. <laughs> Sometimes my glasses help to shield me a little bit from uh, from the uh, the pungency of the the onion, but I usually am pretty sensitive. I end up crying. So this is one onion, by the way. So you could do more or less depending on what you enjoy. I think that the recipe technically only called for a half an onion, but I just feel like if I'm gonna cut an onion, might as well use the whole thing, right? It doesn't make sense to me to just use half an onion. So <laughs> somebody had a really cute comment. Thank you for that. <laughs> Leah said, rock in the kitchen. <laughs> so drove home today from a week at the beach. Gosh, that sounds amazing, Kelly. How far was the drive for you? When we go down to the Jersey Shore, it usually takes us about, I don't know, what, two hours? Matt can comment. He's usually the one that's driving us, so. <laughs> okay, so I've got my onion in there. Let me go ahead and add some minced garlic. Um, you could use fresh, of course, if you had it. The recipe calls for three cloves. So let me get this in here, too. this is going to take a few moments while we brown up here oh my goodness eight hours that is a far drive I'm so glad that you made it safe hey Sarah thanks for jumping on so I see a bunch of new viewers if you're just popping on welcome tonight we are prepping for a really nice slow cooker recipe it is chicken thighs with creamy lemon sauce so we're just beginning by browning some garlic and some uh, onion and then we're going to basically sear our chicken thighs and kind of get them ready to go. So the, this macros is uh, not total, I don't believe. Let me see here. It's four servings total, so whatever one serving would be, I would just basically see how many chicken thighs you have and then divide it to figure out how many it is per serving. So yeah, just gotta kind of figure it out a little bit, so. <laughs> So the trick with sauteing uh, onions, by the way, when you're keto, is you wanna make sure they don't get too, too brown. Um, when they car caramelize, they can actually turn into sugar and kick you out of ketosis. So I don't cook them as long as I typically would before I went keto. Um, so that's a neat little trick that I kind of learned uh, kind of the hard way. <laughs> I think my first month I made lots of really, really brown onions and was probably not really in ketosis like I thought I was, so. <laughs> Thanks for the love, Sherry, I appreciate it. Whew. So they're definitely, it's hitting me. So if I get a little few tears, you'll know why, you'll know what's happening. <laughs> so if you guys love to use a slow cooker to cook, go ahead and comment with slow cooker below. And feel free to share with me what some of your favorite recipes are. Um, probably my favorite thing to make in the slow cooker is actually chili, um, but I usually don't do that until it starts getting a little bit cooler out. So, but this will be nice. Um, and it should last my boyfriend for a while. I'm actually traveling to go to Dallas next week. So if you're traveling with me, feel free to comment Dallas and let me know what you're most excited about. <laughs> so um, this should keep him well fed for quite a few days and have some extra leftover lunches. And I'm actually fasting right now. So I won't be, uh, I won't be having any of this. So that's okay. <laughs> yes, I love my slow cooker too. <laughs> so... All right, so we're getting nice and brown here. We just need to cook, let this cook just a few more minutes. So while we're waiting for this, 
Uh, feel free to share with me, what did you have for your dinner tonight? What, what kind of keto uh, dinners did you all make? I always love to hear what you guys are making. So Kayla's going to Dallas with me. Woo! Girl, I am so excited. Make sure you give me a hug when we're down there. <laughs> Broccoli cheddar soup and chicken corn chowder. Mmm, yummy. Yeah, I don't have an Instapot yet. So if you, for those of you that have both a slow cooker and an Instapot, I'll be so curious to know which one you like better and what the pros are of an Instapot. I've been thinking about upgrading, but you know, I don't know, I just wasn't sure about it. So I love my slow cooker too, Sherry. I don't know, I kind of just felt like the beauty of a slow cooker is that you can let it cook for eight hours while you're at work. So I felt like if I got the Instapot and it was gonna be ready in like an hour, I felt like it would be more work for me to come home and then have to worry about prepping the Instapot. I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm curious. Everyone loves your broccoli cheddar soup. That sounds awesome. I have made a keto-friendly uh, broccoli cheddar soup, and I love it. It's one of the easiest things to do. Ooh, in today's special value on QVC. Thanks for sharing, Kim. Maybe I'll check it out and just get it just so I have one while it's a good price. So for those of you that follow my page and you know me for some time now, I recently upgraded my air fryer game and I'm obsessed with my air fryer. I absolutely love it. And my boyfriend just treated me to the, uh, the bigger model that's got the trays in there so you can make it like a little mini oven. I love it. So let's see here. So it's done really quickly, huh, Leah? Thanks for sharing. Prep the night before so all you have to do is throw it in the Instapot when you get home, okay? Good if you need something quick and then forget about dinner. Well, I'm loving all this feedback. That's awesome. You're kind of selling me on the beauty of the of the Instapot. So pretty neat. <laughs> nice. Kathy sharing with me all the things that she's making. Save space because I can get rid of, rid of a couple other products too. Loving all this feedback. You guys are amazing. I love it when you guys share on my video and I'm not just like talking to myself here tonight. Hey, Teresa, welcome. Happy to have you here, sister. I see that you're a brand new friend. Make sure you remember, don't forget to send me a friend request. Would love to connect with you. Oxtail. Gosh, Ashley, that's that's a, a question that I truly don't know the answer to. I imagine it's okay because it is a fatty meat. So I think that would be fine, more than likely, but I will have to look it up after and do the Google to find out for sure. <laughs> Yeah, so for anybody that's trying to read some of the longer comments, you have to actually wait for the video to finish, and then you can see the full, the full comment there. I hate that. That's one of the updates that Facebook has done recently, so you can't see the full comment. So um, I hope they go back to letting us be able to see the full comments again, because I do miss that. Okay. So these are starting to really reduce and get nice and soft now. So I'm going to give it like another one or two minutes. Um, and let these cook and then we will start the next stage of this recipe here. So, Olive Garden Zupa Toscana later. Mmm, that sounds great. So speaking of Olive Garden, I know it's really not like Olive Garden, but uh, I did make a lasagna uh, zucchini boat last night. So it was a nice little fun uh, spin on lasagna and I thought it was really delicious. Um, it tasted really, really good. So if you like the zucchini, you guys can go back and check out that recipe. Um, my boyfriend actually just had the rest of the zucchini for dinner tonight and he loved it. So, okay. So this was looking pretty good. I don't think I want to cook these much longer because I don't want them to get too, too brown. I want them to have some consistency and meat to them so that way when we put them in the slow cooker they hold up so let me just show you what we look like right here so that's what we've got so far let me take a quick peek to see what we are, are doing next and I just see a question about what the recipe is so if you're just jumping on welcome tonight we're making uh, we're prepping actually for our slow cooker uh, chicken thighs with a creamy lemon sauce so tomorrow is actually when you finish up the sauce. Tonight we're kind of just prepping everything and getting the meat in the uh, slow cooker. And then um, it's gonna cook for six hours. And then tomorrow I'll pop back on and show you guys how to finish it off. Okay, 
So we're gonna do, we just did sauteed our onion and our garlic, and then, let's see here. So now we're just gonna add our, um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit all this in here. Let's try it. I think I'm actually just going to transfer um, these bits to my slow cooker right now. And then I'm just gonna work on browning the chicken thighs. olive oil and then we'll start browning our chicken thighs we're not going to fully cook these so it doesn't need to be too intense about two to three minutes uh, for each side all right I'm just gonna let my oil heat back up on the um, in the pan here thanks for um, answering the question Eliza I appreciate it <laughs> Most meats are safe to eat on keto. Meat and protein usually isn't much of an issue. I can't think of a protein that's not okay to have on keto. Does anybody know? Feel free to share. Hi, Bethany. Thanks for popping on. Welcome. Okay. So this is looking pretty good. Let me go ahead and add in our chicken thighs. All right, so we're just getting these seared nice and lightly. I'm gonna do one side and then the other. So I have the tendency of wanting to move things around in the pan. Um, so I'm try gonna try to do my very best not to touch these because we do want them to sear and get a little bit of a nice brown right here. So. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how brown they get after. I set my timer for two minutes. It's really easy to lose track of time while I'm chit-chatting with you all, so that way they don't burn, so. While we're waiting for this to cook, um, I know a few of you guys shared already, but if every, anyone wants to share, what did you guys have for your keto dinner tonight? I would be so curious. I'm actually fasting tonight, so I'm basically living through you all right now to see what everybody had for dinner. <laughs> so. My um, oven is on like a little bit of a slant. Does anybody else suffer from that? So my oil always runs to the side. So I always have to kind of like <laughs> try and even it out and make sure that um, one part of the pan doesn't get dry. So it depends on how much chicken you get for two pounds. I mean, I've got four, five, six, seven. I mean, I've got eight total chicken thighs here. So uh, let's think about it. So if you've got eight total chicken thighs and the serving and the serving size is four, I don't know. You just have to do the math, you guys. Math is not my forte. Taco salad dinner tonight. Portobello mushrooms stuffed with cheese and spinach. That sounds delicious. All right, let's try turning these over and see what they look like. Okay, got decently brown there. Nice. So I'm gonna leave it for another two minutes to brown. can see that we're getting some nice little 
chickeny bits in there that get nice and brown and delicious. So that's like my favorite part about searing meat. You get all the little bits in the bottom of the pan that make your sauce taste so delicious. <laughs> Sorry, I almost knocked you guys over there. <laughs> you guys have for me I know this is kind of like the boring part of the film here but feel free to uh, hit me up with any questions that you have once this is done we're pretty much going to put our meat into the slow cooker and then add some chicken uh, broth to it and then that's it it'll be ready to go and I'll, I'll start this when I leave for work in the morning and it'll cook for about um, six hours roughly so yes you can definitely deglaze the bottom of the pan for sure So I do want to mention one thing I actually just realized I forgot to season the meat so make sure I'm gonna before we run out of time here I'm actually gonna throw some fresh ground pepper on here as well as some salt and then I was supposed to put a little bit of Italian seasoning so I'm gonna do that now and then just give it one more flip so that way it just has that and then we will cook the next round So I'm just gonna flip it one more time. I forgot to do that the first time, you guys. So you always wanna make sure you season your meat just a little bit. Let me just get some more on here. Welcome, thanks for jumping on. How are you doing with your keto so far, sister? Okay, let me give it one last flip. All right, that looks much better with a little bit of seasoning uh, cooked on there. So as you guys know, for those of you that follow my journey, I always forget at least one thing while I'm cooking. So it's kind of while I do this, even though it's embarrassing for me, um, it just kind of shows you that you don't need to be an expert in the kitchen and you can make little mistakes here and there and everything turns out fine. Even if you think it's a hot mess, it'll be fine. Okay, so these look pretty good. I don't wanna fully cook them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them out of the pan and add them to my slow cooker. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add my next round of chicken in here. This is really easy, yes, and it does smell heavenly in here, you guys. Truly is amazing. So let's go ahead and remember to season <laughs> this round so that way we're not playing catch up here. And 
And this is just some Italian seasoning. It's what the recipe called for. So that's all that I'm using there. Set my timer and we're on our last four minutes of cooking. So what do you guys think? Really easy, totally doable, right? Oh no, I just got the low power um, message on my phone. Let me see here if I can see how much longer I've got. Hopefully my phone won't die. I would hate to lose the video, so. <laughs> yeah, it does smell great in here. <laughs> Thanks, John, for the love. I appreciate it. really good so far <laughs> yeah this is a really nice easy recipe so while I'm kind of waiting for this to cook let me walk you through what tomorrow would look like so once we're done searing our chicken I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of it to my slow cooker here and then I'm gonna add some chicken broth and that's pretty much it it'll be ready to go and then you would cook cook on low anywhere from five to seven hours or high three to four hours if you were pressed for time so tomorrow, once it's been done cooking for a few hours, you would take off your chicken, and then inside you'll have your sauce that's left over. So from there, you'll add some heavy cream, some mustard, and some lemon juice, and you'll just add it in there and let that sauce uh, cook and thicken up. And if you find that it's not thick enough, that's when you can go ahead and add some xanthan gum to the, to the mixture there. So xanthan gum is keto friendly and it's a great way to thicken sauces if you're having trouble. So if you're not keto, typically you would use flour or cornstarch, um, which we can't use on keto, keto because they would break your ketosis. So xanthan gum is a really nice substitute um, for this type of scenario. So sometimes you don't need to use it. So I would say, you know, check the sauce and if it looks nice and creamy, then you don't even need to um, use it. But if you need to thicken it up, you absolutely can. Okay, so these are looking really beautiful. Let me go ahead and season this side and then we will be pretty much at the end here and ready to go. to show you what these look like tomorrow once the sauce is done. It's got a beautiful creamy lemon uh, sauce and it just looks so beautiful and delicious. So <laughs> yeah, I typically, I try not to use the xanthan gum unless I really, really have to, unless it's like really, really watery. I actually got my xanthan gum right in a grocery store. I got the, I think it's called Bob's Red Mill is the brand or something like that. So you could just put it directly into your sauce and then whisk it and let it get nice and thick. That's typically, it's the same process that you would use uh, as if you were using cornstarch or um, flour. So I've only played around with it once or twice. Typically, um, I don't need it. Usually, especially when you're using heavy cream, the sauce usually um, comes together pretty nicely on its own. Um, so you may find that you don't even need it. You guys, this smells ridiculously good. This is really hard to be cooking this while I'm fasting right now, I won't even lie. <laughs> yes, so when the video is done, you guys, I have the full recipe right here on the main post. It's got your macros and your serving signs and everything that you need, so you will be fine. Oh, I forgot to set my timer. Let's say it's been, let's do like 60 seconds. <laughs> so. These bad boys smell awesome, so. <laughs> um, I got my xanthan gum near the um, like organic aisle where you would find your almond flour, your coconut flour, and things like that. It's usually down over there. Yes, this is a really easy crock pot recipe, Patty. You actually didn't, uh, you didn't actually miss too much. All I did was saute some onion and some garlic, and now we're just searing our chicken, and we're gonna put it in the slow cooker and add some uh, chicken broth 
and then that'll be it and it'll cook. And then tomorrow you'll see the fun. So make sure you guys stay tuned tomorrow when I get back home from work. I'll show you guys how to finish off and make the creamy lemon sauce. So it's gonna be delicious. You could possibly use coconut flour. I mean, I would I would think that that might change the um, the integrity of the flavoring profile because coconut flour can have a little bit of a co coconutty flavor. So, um, but yeah, I think the xanthan gum would be fine. So you can see, let me actually show you guys what this looks like up close. So you can see they browned up really nicely. This is just a quick sear for two to three minutes per side. I'm not looking to fully cook these because they're gonna be roasting um, in the slow cooker for anywhere from five to seven hours on low. And they sure do look delicious. Okay, let me get my pan out of the way. All right, so let me show you guys how delicious these chickens came out. So I've got in my slow cooker right now, all of my chicken nicely seared. I've got the onion and the garlic in there. And now I'm just going to add my chicken broth. So tomorrow, Let's see here, probably probably around eight o'clock, maybe seven or eight o'clock Eastern time. I usually don't get home from work till at least six or 6.30. So I usually need some time to walk the dog and get settled in, so yeah. <laughs> okay, so for our broth here, let me see how much we need. One and a half cups. seems to follow the general rule of thumb. So usually when you are cooking in a slow cooker, you want there to be uh, enough water that finishes, that goes up halfway to where the meat line is. Typically you don't wanna fully submerse your, submerse your meat. So the, the stock came up about halfway to how much meat I have here in the pan. So, and yeah, you can definitely pour the pan drippings over as well. All that deliciousness. I'm gonna make sure I get all that goodies back in the pot there. So um, I hope you guys really enjoyed uh, the recipe tonight. Make sure you swing back to my page around eight o'clock Eastern time tomorrow. And we will go ahead and finish this up and create the, the creamy lemon portion of the sauce here. Um, I just used a chicken broth. So I've got one here that's 100% natural. Um, it's the collagen brand, but you could really use any one that you have. Um, I liked this one because it didn't have any added sugars in it. So it's just chicken broth, salt, flavorings, vegetable stock, and that's it. So sometimes you have to be careful. Some of the chicken broths actually do have um, sugar in them. So just be careful of that and check um, the ingredients on the back then. So. Thank you all so much for sticking with me tonight. If you had a great time and you enjoyed the recipe, make sure you go ahead and give this video a quick share. And if we're not connected yet, make sure you go ahead and send me a friend request and hit follow. Thanks everybody, have a great night and wishing you a happy Monday tomorrow. Take care.